So folks, I've just returned from an absolutely fantastic weeks away saltwater fly fishing in Mexico and um, now's the time to uh, look after the tackle and wash all that salt out of it. This is a very important part of uh, saltwater fly fishing. Um, so what I've done is I've just gathered the bits together that I need to go and I thought I'd just chuck it all in here and you'll see what's happened. Basically, I've just run a sink of cold fresh water, nothing more complicated than that and I'm going to take all my reels that I've used this week and lines that I've used this week and I'm going to take them apart and throw them straight in that sink like so and give them a nice soak all right and I'm going to give them a soak for 24 hours I'm just going to leave them in there overnight I won't be touching these again till tomorrow just to get all that salt out of it it's not just the fly line you need to get the salt out of it's also this bit the backing um, and we'll go through that a little bit later on but that's all I'm doing make sure you take the spools apart so the water can really penetrate and everything there's a fly line as well there that I've used um, that I changed halfway through the week so again that's going in there as well uh, sunglasses maybe have water splashing on them all week good pair of sunglasses and you know the salt's going to get in these hinges so they're going to go in there as well and all my flies for the week so as I've been using flies and changing flies all week I've been throwing them into a, another little pack um, because you don't want the hooks to rust and you don't want materials you want to, they're expensive flies or they take time to tie so look after them so all these flies I've used during the week so they're all going to go in as well and we're just going to leave them all in there just sitting in there to soak get all that horrible salt out of them and that's going to preserve and save your hooks and they're going to be good to go again for next year when you come around to using them you won't have to replace a load of flies because you didn't take care of them let's chuck them all in there I've got some other bits and pieces in the bag that's going to go in here as well probably the GoPro casing is going to go in as well because that's been out and been used chuck them all in that's fine that's all of them that's every one of them give them a nice make sure they'll get in there and that's it and I'm just going to leave that until tomorrow morning I'm going to come down and have a look at this tomorrow morning and then we're going to take this all out, start getting it dried out, start taking the lines off the reel and uh, we'll go through that little bit of the process. But this is the most important bit and give it plenty of time. 24 hours, that's what you want. Just leave them sitting there in the water, won't do them any harm at all. Right, that's it. This is uh, next morning. That's had 24 hours in the sink there and they've all had a good old soak. So the first thing I'm going to do is take all these flies out and start just spreading them out on a piece of tissue paper. And the kitchen roll just to start drying them out um, just about over the jet lag I think <laughs> that's a fair old journey home and just spread these out and you can give these as long as you like now and this is all you're going to have to do to the flies you're not going to have to do anything else to these now and that's it they've had their time that's all that salt's been soaked out of them um, you can just simply dry these out and pop them back in your fly box now um, these other bits and pieces just take them out and leave them again on a piece of dry tissue just while you're uh, preparing everything for the next stage okay and the next bit is going to be the fly fly lines and the fly reels and take them out of there just stack them all up so you can get all your flies out didn't realize i used so many flies last week all the guides have their favourites, every guide you go for, and there's your glasses, sunglasses now, no salt left in them. All the guides have their favourite flies, and every time you get in a boat and you think you've got the right one tied on, they go through your fly box and want to tie you something different on. Great guys, great week away. There we go, that's all the flies out. And that's all the bits of the reels out. And now we can just uh, drain this off, let that go. Any residual salt that's in there is going to drain off, and then we're going to run a warm uh, a, a sink full of warm water, not hot water, just warm water, and we're going to start preparing uh, to do these uh, fly lines. Right, I've got a bowl full of lukewarm water here, and not hot water, and we're just going to do these reels one at a time. I'm just going to show you one at the moment, do all of them. So the reels are apart. Chuck them in here, okay, and then just take the cage side of your reel nice brush and just give it a good brush round like so making sure you're getting all those metal parts both sides drag everything give the drag a bit of a twist just to 
is that loosen that off a little bit you often have your drag set quite heavy on seat and when you're salt water fishing so just loosen that drag off and give it a little spin under the water there make sure these aren't sealed drags so just make sure that soapy water gets in there and just gives that a nice it's been soaking all night so it should have got in there quite nicely and uh, there shouldn't be any salt left on that you just simply got to put that aside now and let that dry on a bit of tissue paper and what we'll do is once these all dried off we'll give them a little spray with WD-40 a little bit of an oil um, and then they'll be good to go so just pop that on your piece of tissue paper now the uh, the other side of the spool that's got the line it's got a bit of old leader on it so first I'm going to take this leader off you're not going to reuse your salt water leaders not after a trip like this um, take it off chuck it away all right that fluorocarbon that we're using there's been exposed to salt water and it's just not worth trying to save it all right so just give that a little snip off there that goes in the bin and there we are that's all nice on that side there. Now I'm going to take this fly line off there. I'm not going to store this fly line on the reel, okay? I'm just going to take this off there. So I'm going to peel it off into the sink first of all. Um, just very, very simply, just let it come off into the sink. Taking all that off. This is about a good soak overnight now. So this is lovely and clean. And um, this is just an extra precaution, really, just to use this. Pull all that off there. Let's sit in that soapy water for a couple of minutes and then we're just going to spool this up onto a um, an empty retainer, an empty spool, okay. And this is just going to make sure all that comes out of there. Lovely. And at the other end there, these are attached by just like that, just tied on there with a what we call it a bimini twist, which is a quite a, so not only is it a nice strong knot and a very slim line knot for when it gets peeled out through your rod rings, which it commonly does when you're fishing for these bigger fish, but when it comes to changing out spools and lines, very, very simple. Just open that up, pop the spool through. You can do this on a boat, you see, very, very quickly. Pull it through, that's your line detached, that's your reel detached. We're still going to leave that in the soapy water. I'm just going to pull this off and put it into a spool. Right, we've done all that, we've got the line off the reel. Now this is the bit that often gets unlooked, okay? The backing, whether it be gel spun like this or whether it be your normal dacrum backing, it's absorbent and it will absorb the salt. And folks often forget about this and leave it on the spool all year long. And when you come to do this again next year, you've got corrosion all around the inside of your reel and the gel spun's ruined and you have to replace everything. Sometimes you have to have replaced the reel. So we want to make sure that all that sorts out of here. And very simply, all we're going to do, take a, another reel with an empty spool on it, attach your, 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 your backing to it, and we're just going to reel that off of without any pressure on it just reel the whole lot off of and it's all coming off and that's all getting that nice bit of de uh, light detergent warm water in it and what we'll do is once we've done this we'll do it about the other way as well i'm going to leave it on the spool but once i'm happy that it's clean this will also take some kinks out of the backing um, uh, sometimes when you're playing big fish and when you get big runs from fish that go out a long way especially with this thin gel spun um, when it comes back at you, it doesn't go back on the spool with any sort of pressure and you can get these extra loops which can cause problems when you get a second fish that takes all your line out. So this is going to make sure that everything's straightened out and taken care of. It's a bit time consuming, especially if you've got two or three rules to do, but in the long run it's really, really worth it um, and it will make a difference. And when all this is done, I'll put it back on the reel again and I'm going to give it a little squirt with some WD-40. Um, which is ideal to do when this hasn't got any line on it and uh, put it all together again put the backing back on the reel and you're ready to go for next year you can put these aside let them dry put them aside for next year not worry about them and when you come to your next trip out pick your reel up put it together and it's ready to go without any dramas Okay, we're nearly there, so the reel's come out and it's all dried off. Um, now I've just made sure I've got no sand, no grit, nor anything left inside that. The drag's moving nice and freely, all the water's gone out of it. And all we're going to do now is give it a little blast with a good old WD-40. And just to, before we put it away, just on the spool, just a nice little blast. And just to make sure there's no residual water or anything left in there. Just all the moving parts, really. And same in here, nice little blast with the WD-40. 
get in behind that drag so loosen your drag right off okay again nice little blast there and that's fine okay that's all you really need to do to these some reels might have a little oil, oil point on them or some of them might need a little bit of um, uh, grease this particular reel doesn't need any greasing up on it but if you do um, just a nice fine grease there this is one i use for the guns it's a lovely little fine grease there and just put a little dab of it around the inside of the spool there i'm just going to let the wd-40 sit there for a while let it all soak in give it a very light brush off and then i should put the back in back onto the reel reel in the pouch store it away and it's good as gold for next year so the only other thing that we need to do now is the fishing rods okay last thing on the case now is your fishing rods um i've put a little bit of extra detergent in here because you can use a nice soapy mix for this it won't make any difference to it and you're going to just give the whole rod a scrub down playing close attention obviously to your eyes um and uh, to the real seat as well okay so just a nice scrub down get the whole rod get right in there in the eyes really get in there that's the bit that's going to collect a bit of salt water and this is really all you have to do to a fishing rod there's nothing else to do to this just make sure you get it all all the way down so it's those eyes that really get the salt in them these all go to rinse before they got packed up anyhow but i'm just making sure so once the eyes are done just put that aside and that'll dry off nicely don't need to do anything else to that with the real seat end of the rod here and your and your, your handle as well because this particular handle is fairly absorbent and most cork handles are absorbent make sure you really get in there get these get any moving parts get them moving get the get the soapy water underneath them all right because these are the bits that's going to get trapped and you get a bit of sand in there a bit of salt in there but if you do that move them about a bit give it all a good scrub the handle as well give that a good scrub just to get all of that out of there all that slime from them bonefish and the tarpon and <laughs> all those other lovely fish you've been catching all week and that really is it and what i'll do is i should give this handle a good dry off and this is i'm not going to do the rest of the rod but just on the handle give it a good dry off get all that water out of it okay again move these locking rings here so they're separated okay so they're moved about get that nice and dry nice and dry and then what a world I'll do with this is I will give this again a nice squirt with the old WD-40 in there. Just like that. Give these a nice move about. Yeah, they're all free running. They're all free moving. That's all free moving. And just leave the WD-40 on there to work. It's magic, all right. And that'll just push any old residual salt out of there, any residual water. And again, I'm just going to put that on the side and leave that to dry under its own uh, steam but you don't need to do anything else to a fishing rod that's all you need to do now just make sure it's all nice and clean and it's those eyes you need to pay attention to and that's it you're done after your saltwater fly fishing trip everything's ready to go put it all aside and it's all ready to go for next year hope you found that helpful cheers folks